For those diagnosed with cancer, the journey to healing can be a tough and lonely one. But there are support groups available, one of which is the Cancer Survivorship Program at the Queens Medical Center. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we're talking about what you need to know with Christy Fujinaga, clinical nurse navigator at the Queens Medical Center. Aloha and good morning, Christy. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. First, what is cancer survivorship? So a patient is considered a cancer survivor from diagnosis throughout their lifetime. And the Queen's Cancer Survivorship Program's purpose is to provide comprehensive care that addresses the many effects that can occur after cancer, including um, navigating life experiences after cancer, managing long-term and late effects, addressing physical and psychosocial effects, screening for recurrence, and maintaining wellness. Okay. And what kinds of cancer survivorship services are offered at Queen's? Yes, so Queen's is accredited by the Commission on Cancer, um, which oversees the development and implementation of our survivorship program. So our program of, um, we have several services offered on site that address the needs of cancer survivors, including survivorship care plans. And this is a document that summarizes the patient's cancer journey and provides surveillance recommendations based on national guidelines. And also included are side effects management, recommended screening for average risk individuals and resources that are available to the patient. Next, we also have seminars for survivors. So every year, our Cancer Survivorship Program hosts two seminars specifically addressing cancer survivorship topics. We also have nutritional services. So our program um, collaborates with our oncology dietitian to educate patients on nutrition during and after treatment. We also have the state's first cancer survivorship support group. Um, and this was established specifically so patients have um, a place to address common effects or common issues that arise once treatment is complete, such as anxiety, fear of recurrence, and fatigue, just to name a few. And we also have our mindfulness meditation class for cancer survivors. And we have our one year anniversary next month. Um, so that's very exciting. Uh, the National Can Comprehensive Cancer Network or the NCCN guidelines, they specifically reference mindfulness meditation for many common effects, including anxiety, depression, trauma, distress, cognitive function, fatigue, sleep disorders, and many more. So our program hosts a monthly virtual class um, that's facilitated by, by one of our amazing chemotherapy nurses. Well, I have to imagine that's very helpful, totally holistic for all those survivors. I understand there's an upcoming uh, survivor uh, seminar. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, so um, I'm very excited to be hosting um, this month's seminar. Um, it's actually tomorrow, um, October 3rd from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. And I will be talking about building your cancer survivorship toolkit. So what resources and tools are available to patients and caregivers. Um, so it's open to all patients, all of their caregivers and um, anyone who's interested in joining. Um, so if anyone wants to register, they can register at www.queens.org events. Okay, great. That's fantastic. And to learn more about Queens Cancer Survivorship Program, you can visit www.queens.org. You can click on services and then click on cancer, or you can just call 691-7138. Chrissy, thank you so much for all the information. All you do for these cancer survivors, it's a, a wonderful thing that you folks got going on. Yes, thank you so much for having me today. All right, have a great rest of your morning. Thank you.